What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all, we about to get into um, Miss Lou, okay? Um, Lou did several videos. My voice was in it several times. I ain't tripping. I'm wondering why she ain't say who it was, but I ain't tripping. Um, I don't care about her putting my voice. It was basically um, in relation to defending um, her accusation of Tay not being afraid of her. My puppy is crying because my girlfriend just left. So I want to speak about that, especially because she did use my voice. So um, I want to speak to y'all about how I feel about the situation. Now, the reason why I am late is because I went to Vegas and I have zero regrets <laughs> on not doing any videos while I was in Vegas. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I attempted but none of my computers were working nothing. So I think God was trying to tell me, chill. You got it. It's all right. So that's what I did. Now, in the meantime, in between time, y'all make sure y'all uh, follow me on all social media platforms, please. They all are above. My TikTok is Royalties World. Um, Royalties World Kingdom, actually. Royalties World Kingdom. So for those that don't know, make sure you tap in. So I don't really care what order I'm starting in. I just want to start. All right. Let's get into it. So what do we want, Lou? If you, okay. You want her to delete the videos. You want her to delete the channel. You don't want money from her. What do you want? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to ask. What you want? What you want? What, 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 what's up? Before she answered, I think that that was a valid question from a lot of us simply because of this. Lou came out and said, uh, I want you to take them videos down within 48 hours. And it was like, okay, she better take them videos down. She said, or I will expose such and such. So Tay instantly was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm afraid of you. I'm this, I'm that. I, I'm going to take them down. Okay. <clears throat> She took him down. Next thing you know, Lou still talking about exposing us. So we like, what? <laughs> I thought you said if she take the videos down, you wasn't going to expose her, right? So this is why I said that, and I'm sure this is why a lot of people did say that. I understand that she's going to have whatever she has to say. I'm just letting y'all know where I was coming from with that, Okay. Why is the desktop audio muted? That I want. Lou, she took the videos down. She took the page down. What is it that you want? I wanted that. So what do we want, Lou? If you, okay. You wanted her to delete the videos. You wanted her to delete the channel. You don't want money from her. What do you want? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to ask. What you want? What you want, Lou? What's, what, what's up? What's T, sir? This is a question that has been posed very often in relation to this situation. And I understand it completely. I'm being asked, what is it that I want? Lou, she took the videos down. She took the page down. What is it that you want? Right. I wanted that page down. But it had nothing to do I wanted to clear my name and restore my reputation. I want it down for my mental health and for my healing journey. I don't want anything on the internet that connects me to her that she still has control over. And because of everything that she's had control over in my life for so many years, and now that I am no longer in her life or her in mine, I no longer will sit back and still be controlled by her. It's unacceptable for me. Everyone is also saying, well, why continue to expose her if she I'm glad she finally did the right thing and removed the Tay and Lou channel <clears throat> this actually caused me to do away with the humiliation true exposure uh-uh no 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 no. we don't need to do away with anything see that's my point you were supposed to go give it all girl put it all on put it on the flow okay rip me out the plastic hello I mean that what she did I, I just figured if we was coming back out with it we was gonna come back out with it Okay, full throttle. All right. Took the videos down. Why are you still moving forward with this? Just let it go. 
My plan to speak my truth was already in motion. I knew Original message, September 26th. I sent reaching out to an uh, interviewer, commentator, source when I started finding my confidence to share my story. She did. Yes, she did. Um, Y'all can't see it on TikTok. Let me slide this over. Okay. <clears throat> Bam. Those are the messages um, between her and I. Lord knows I'm glad I ain't say nothing crazy. <laughs> Anybody send me anything, I have zero intentions on, <clears throat> you know, saying anything crazy to you um, because that's not what we're here for. I'm just trying to, you know, see how I could help her. And I try my best to find somebody who could do the interview, but um, she was actually out of town as well herself, so she could not do the interview. I tried my best, and um, I said something under her comments the other day. She may not be interested anymore, and that's okay. Um, I'm into blog style content, like I told y'all. Um, I'm really not into YouTubers like that. And I, I, I don't try to like categorize people, but truthfully, it is a difference between celebrities. And YouTube celebrities, you know what I'm saying? It's just a huge difference, huge demographic difference, huge, it just everything is different, okay? I knew one day I would be brave enough to do this. So this plan was going to go on either way. What you guys saw was me knowing how to deal with Tay. Okay. The type of person she was to me, there would have been no talking. I couldn't have just asked her to take the YouTube channels down. I've asked that before plenty of times. Mm. I had to proposition myself the way I did in order to get her to do what she did immediately. Okay. There was no asking Tay for anything. I always was going to move forward and speak about my experience with her. You guys cannot label my experience and my trauma with her as exposing her. I would have, I would have never had to even let you guys... Well, nobody was trying to label it that you actually said that. You used that verbiage. And I know you're a very, very, very smart woman. So <clears throat> you know that when you come out and you say, you got 48 hours to um, say whatever or d delete these videos. I'm exposing you. That Those were your exact words. So I don't think anybody's projecting exposure onto your situation. That is the terminology that you used. <clears throat> Let me also tell you all this. If I was in front of uh, Tay, uh, fuck, Lou, I would speak to her in the same way and I would give her interview style um, and say whatever I please. I want to ask the questions that y'all want to know. And hell, I am going to do it in this video and hopefully she, you know, comes out and say whatever she feel. If she did not start all of this on the internet, she brought it here first. I agree. We're broken up. And I know I may sound like a broken record to some of you, but I have to keep repeating myself. We were broken up, and then she came onto the internet to slander me. It defamed me. She did. It spread lies about me. She did. About my character. She did. My work relationships with my peers on the internet. Mm. This is my job. The internet is my job. So just let it go and move on. She took the videos down. But yet my character is still in shambles, you guys. A lot of people are... They only saying that because that's how you presented it. I really want her to really understand that. If you don't take these videos down, I'm going to expose you. She took the videos down. You continue with the exposure, except you slash took out a little bit of humiliation. You should have kept all that in there. Bye. Right. Telling me, Lou, move on, move on, find peace, find peace. This is a part of my moving on, clearing my name, not asking for money because I have yet to do that here. I've not done that. And I didn't even do it in my relationship. I'm definitely not doing it here. I want to clear my name. That is a part of me letting go. I want to know that you guys gave me a chance to hear me out. And yet again, I'm not saying I want you guys to like me. I'm not saying I want you guys to believe me. I want a chance. And that <clears throat> is a part of my healing world for me personally. Once all of this is said and done, I don't care which way the crowd looks. Like they're swaying. What I'm going to be the most happy <clears throat> about and breathe is that I gave myself this opportunity. I've lost a lot and I'm trying to rebuild it all. And mm -hmm. there's certain steps that I'm going to have to take in order to successfully do that. I've lost business opportunities. I've lost friendships. Mm -hmm. I've lost things that I've lost things I really I know I can't even rebuild up and I have to go ahead and accept and accept. Other creators and brands deny collaborations with me. 
I mm. also was denied representation by more than two agencies because of this smear campaign that she put out on the internet. Hence is why I say, bring out all your humiliation. I'm petty though. I'm a Leo. Yeah. Mm. Don't take my advice. Girl, I would have put it all out there because that's what you did to me. Well, okay. This has affected me in so many ways. The mental of it all. I was willing to get myself up out of this. I'm always willing to get myself out of something I put myself in. And because of all of that, the rejection I felt from these agencies, from my peers, then I couldn't even work for myself. It literally, it literally smothered my entrepreneurial spirit. I cannot create. How can I create and be in a mental depressed space, a mentally deprived space that I was in and it was happening every day. This never stopped for me. Mm. When I went out to, into public, <clears throat> I had to refuse service. Mm. On the internet, every day I have to see the word abuser. Every day I have to see the word beating, drunk. Mm. My daughter's birthday was February 1st. I couldn't even post her picture because I knew it was going to be so much negativity. Go take care of your daughter. Go take care of your daughter because she put out a, a storyline as if I don't take care of my child. And that's yes, the she did. Truth. As if I have a bad relationship with my child. I'm being told every day to be a better mother. And I already told you, I already came with mother issues. How do y'all think this helps me? It, didn't, it did not help me. This is the only way for me to move on, is to finally <clears throat> say my piece. I'm not dragging anything. This timeline is very plain and simple and easy to see. It negatively affected my child because she was harassed at school. A lot of our audience is her age demographic. Mm. Her age. She didn't consider that when she said those lies. <clears throat> she didn't care about anything. She did not care that my daughter would be having to go to school and hear the things they used to tell her and still do. And now that this is happening now, it's intense again. And my daughter should not have... No, she shouldn't, which means you probably shouldn't have opened that womb, um, Lou. You you literally just opened up another womb again for her. Um, and that's why I'm saying if it's not for the sake of money and if it's not for the sake of um, I'm going to expose girl every you embarrass me. I'm going to embarrass you if it's not for the sake of that. I just feel like she should have saved it, especially if, if your daughter got to basically go through this again. She's re experiencing this again. <clears throat> <clears throat> my daughter did not do anything to her so if any of you guys feel okay when you did something to her that's fine believe that but what did my child do to her i completely I agree with that to use my child she would bring the custody agreement i made as youth there's so <clears throat> much that i lost emotionally mentally financially spiritually my spirit was gone y'all i did not think i was capable of doing anything by myself it was complete psychological abuse on top of other forms of abuse. Throughout my entire relationship with her, I was forced to depend on her. I was forced to trust her with our finances from Tay and Lou because you can only have one name on a Google AdSense account. If I wanted to go grocery shopping, she would take me grocery shopping. I couldn't do anything by myself. I even said this to you guys in my original videos. I was not allowed to do my own laundry and she told all of our moderators that I just, I don't want to do laundry. She has to do my laundry. I wasn't allowed to do laundry. What you mean allowed? <clears throat> you know, that's something I don't understand with, with uh, respectfully, us lesbians. Like, we girls. Bitch, we could go there. I will take it there with you, okay? Some feminine women are stronger than masculine women. Some masculine women are way stronger than feminine women. But ultimately, we both have a vagina, baby. We will fight, Okay. I don't I never understood that part of this situation with her where it's like you was forced to do anything. And then Tay over there just acting like she was you were just the biggest bully in the world. That's probably the biggest <clears throat> one of the biggest uh, question marks here in, in y'all's whole ordeal. It's like who was really <clears throat> who was really the one doing the A word? Okay, I don't want to say it on here because TikTok. But who was really the one doing that? Who was really the one who was getting the best of who? Who who was really that? Because, girl, as soon as Tay get a whiff or something, she don't hear crying. Sick of it. And you're not crying. <clears throat> and that don't mean you don't have pain because people have treated me like that. But 
The whole, like, I was forced to do anything. And if I were interviewing you, I would say that. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how, you know? <clears throat> how is it that she, you know, forced you to do anything? Or were you not knowledgeable of certain things in the relationship that you you either should have or could have had more responsibilities or was more responsible in that area, like knowing the finances or girl, you're not going to tell me when I could wash dishes and when I could do whatever, get the hell out of my face. Well, I trip you while you walking down the stairs. Okay. <clears throat> I don't understand that part, but I do understand that everybody is different and I'm not trying to be insensitive here. I'm just trying to understand why the control was like this. You know what I'm saying? On your end, how were you, why were you so like in a shell or why were you so in a corner to where you allowed her? Because that ultimately is what this is. <clears throat> if a gun went to your head, this was allowed. You know what I'm saying? How did you allow her to do such things to you? I had to do everything the way she wanted it done. <clears throat> she had responsibilities that she never touched. The dishes. She's never touched a dish in our entire relationship. We had a double sink. One day she randomly, randomly decides that she wants me to start washing from the right sink and not the left sink. You guys, I deal with you. I would have randomly told her to get the hell out of my kitchen before one of these dishes be on your head. <laughs> like, for real. Like, <clears throat> dishes? All right, come on. And I know that <sighs> I'm not trying to treat that like that's petty because you trying to control everything. Look, girl, get the hell out of my face. Love, if you going through this, blink, please, wink, okay? Because... <laughs> These sinks, I deal with the kitchen. We had a fight about it, 100% fight, because <clears throat> you guys, I tried to stand my ground. I told her, I am comfortable with doing it this way. Now, some of you, it's petty, why don't you just do it? You guys, why are you trying to micro... No, 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 not it's petty, why don't you just do it? If I want to wash them on the right, I'm going to wash them on the right. The hell? Every single thing I do, you can already control everything. I felt independence in the kitchen when I was washing those dishes the way I wanted to. When I was doing it <clears throat> my own way, because I had to find those little spaces where I could do so. And eventually she would take that. Everything. Not taking nothing. I had to be dependent on her. All of my hobbies, anything I wanted to do, I would tell her about them. And I'm not sure if this is necessarily on topic, but I'm thinking about it right now. I used to be big on gardening. I used to be obsessed with plants and all of these things. And if any of you guys have been following us for a long time, you'll remember I was big on that. She has this thing where she just sucks all of your desires out of you and puts on a glamour as if it was her own, as if she had these interests initially. Mm, she's a hater. She hijacked every Got it. habit I had. She mm. hijacked the way I looked. She got braids, you guys, when I got braids. Our braider had no intention on braiding her hair. Taylene, <laughs> watch me get my hair braided. Hold on. TikTok, let me show you the braids, Jeff. These are the braids. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it, braids are braids. Uh, okay. Our braider had no intention <clears throat> on braiding her hair. Taylene, watch me get my hair braided for, one pr for Pride one summer. And then all of a sudden requested braids. There's nothing wrong with being influenced to, to have braids. I had dreads at first, but I told my girl to get dreads because she wasn't into, um, she wasn't, she had like, you know, natural hair, put in a ponytail, whatever. It was natural. I'm like, baby, you can just do dreads. I mean, it would look really good on, on you. You can do different styles, da, da, da. And she was like, okay, maybe I should. And she And she tried it and she loved it. But I'm not looking at her like, oh, you want to have dreads like me, you know, but. But I was in such a denial. I just refused to believe what I was seeing. <clears throat> she literally tried to hijack my life, my desires, my, 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 my talent. Y'all, I love to cook. She tried to take over that. She would come into that kitchen and tell me how to cook. She would come into that kitchen and tell me how to use a knife properly. When you guys, she knew none of this. She had no interest in any of this when she first met me. An example that she literally hijacked my life or attempted to do so. As I showed you guys in a previous video, I was a professional model when she met me. She knew this. 
But as soon as she met me, no, not as soon. I said, I'm going to correct myself. <clears throat> a few months in, maybe even a year, she then started to want to model. And because she's absolutely gorgeous, I supported her in that. I knew that she can do some type of specific modeling because I'm familiar with this type of industry. She became um, assigned to Wilhelmina Models. Wilhelmina Models because I pushed her to do so because all of a sudden she wanted to model. Did she stick with it? No. Did she ever go to any casting calls? No, because she never wanted to do it. I think Literally. honestly she just wanted to show me that, hey, I got signed by Wilhelmina and you could. I think y'all have had this type of hate since the beginning with each other. Like, and granted, I mean, if I'm a model, you want to become a model, it is what it is. I'm a firm believer of whoever got the bag first, that's who we going with. If if my girl get the bag first, we out. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I'm fully aware that my girl will absolutely give me the bag too. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that was your <clears throat> insecurity that, you know, she obviously wouldn't and she obviously showed you that. But... I just, I just feel like this is such a hater move. I mean, on both ends, like you feel as though she was hating and and trying to outshine you or whatever. But it's like, why was it looked at like that? And maybe clearly she gave you a reason to feel that way. I'm just saying, um, some it's it's good to be a, a trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you should ever look at that in a negative way. Hell, if she wanted to make it a competition and you the one who started it, yeah, the student can't outshine the teacher. But eventually the student does become better than the teacher. But that's the whole point of the teacher teaching it. Because at some point the teacher has to um, resign. <clears throat> My thing is, when you teach a person these things, they're going to use them. And sometimes they will be better than you. I've paid for this before. Baby, this has happened to me several times. I hope you learned your lesson. <clears throat> you control me to a point that I lost faith in the ability of myself to regulate myself, to control myself. I couldn't. I, I lost all faith in all of that. I would believe lies. She would tell me right to my face about myself and believe them. Not lies about her, but about myself. And I would believe them. All of her, the lies she told y'all, I believe those lies at one point, you guys. I did. <clears throat> And to address the time, a timeline of sorts, I 110% misspoke, you guys. I am so sorry for that. I told you guys a year and a half because Tay has come onto her platforms as well and said three years and two years. It has not been any of that, you guys. I have all of the timelines now. It's been a year since we stopped having an amicable friendship. A year. On 9-26-2022, is when we officially stopped cohabitating. This is when I moved out of our apartment that we shared. We were still friends. We were still hanging out. I was still going over. We officially stopped cohabitation immediately after I moved out. We remained amicable, okay? 1111 in the chat, she began harassing me and bombarding my phone messages. And to do things. I was still cooking. I was still mm -hmm. cooking meals, even though Y'all can't see this. We did not live with each other. I was out the house. We were still showing up for each other in each other's lives as best as we, we could. Until she started to try to force me to do videos to help her get out of debt. Mm. And I want to kind of explain that. You guys, this is her debt. I had no financial control. I made no financial decisions. She gambled. She decided to do what she did with it. And it was debt that she... That's on you. <clears throat> I agree with that 10,000%. Baby, that is your money. I run my channels as well. Them taxes, I got to pay. That's a fact. You the one, you know, it costs to be the boss. So you the one who um, spent that money. You the one who kept all that money. You the one that gambled all that money. Yeah, you going to have to pay that, period. She ain't wrong for that at all. <clears throat> I was given my cut properly, then I and I was able to move independently and make decisions, financial decisions. It will make sense for me to be financially contributing to these taxes. Absolutely. But I don't have anything to contribute. I'm Absolutely. We're doing honest. From that to even qualify to contribute to it. Absolutely. Why am I paying taxes on something I didn't have? Hopefully you she ain't. incurred a lot of debt through Hell. gambling and taxes. Because we were making so much money on Tay and Lou that she saw every month, 
but she never paid the taxes. <clears throat> she had control over the money to pay the taxes. I never had any of this money in my possession. She didn't pay the taxes. And she, on top of that, is a gambler, a very heavy gambler. On 1-22-23, I received so many text messages. She bombarded me with text messages, you guys. And at this time, you guys, a lot of people are saying, well, why wouldn't you just respond and tell her I don't want to work? I already communicated to her that I do not want to work with her. We were trying to be friends. <clears throat> we could not any longer work together. I gave her that olive branch. You guys saw me screaming that in the video. I said, I will work with you. Give me a schedule, but I'm not living with you. I will work. She said that wasn't good enough. I had to live with her. I had to live in that house. Wow. And now that we're at it, wow. She was in a relationship with one of her moder her main moderator, Candy Red. So those are the text messages that you guys saw. All of that, that was her trying to get me to work after I already told her I didn't want to, that we were just gonna focus on our friendship, after I already tried to work with her, and she said I could not work with her unless I lived with her, which makes no sense. And for me, that was not going to be real, that I couldn't do that. You guys are calling me bitter. If I was bitter, I already knew she was doing some things with Candy and some, some other people. And I still was willing, willing to work to pay down the debt that I did not incur. I said no, in the video, please refer back to it. I screamed it. I said, I have no happiness to give you. I have no this. I, that video, I said all of this. No, so that's all the text messages that you see. So no, I did not owe her a response. <clears throat> seven, seven, seven in the chat. I already responded <clears throat> to her. I wanted her to respect my space. I even said that in the text message. I said, Taylene, you go missing for days at a time. And I respect your space. I didn't go missing. I am occupied. Respect that. On 2 For 4 sure. 23, she finally accepted that I'm not going to do any work. And those are the last two text messages you guys saw from her. That our personality, she's sorry that our personalities didn't align. Not that I was abusing her. That she thinks of me often. Not that she's fearful of me. And all of that is in those old text messages you guys are speaking about. I'm not trying to bring back old tea, but you guys don't have the timeline correct. You have it so messed up. 2 4 is when she got the, the message, sent me that lovely message. She said, I thought it was lovely. <laughs> and I left it alone. I thought it was lovely. <laughs> she goes about her business. I go about my life. On 3 23 I posted my first video on Just Lou on this platform. By 4-4. 4 4 I got one video out. And Tay went on a smear campaign, posted humiliating videos about me. Yeah, she did, and I would have posted everything I had. When the last thing she told me was everything, she thinks about me often. No, she no, no, no. This. Don't think she about me. About that, not scared. And I got one video out on Just Lou, y'all, and then it happened. Boom. Me showing her that I can make it without her was all it took to trigger that assault. That's all it took. And the very next day, 4-5, Tay dropped, Why Can't We Be Friends, on YouTube, completely defaming me, dragging my name through the mud, and lying on me completely. And then she turns around and takes that same energy to her TikTok stream, where she has almost a million followers. Then maybe more, 700, I'm not sure. However, almost a million followers, she took that very energy right to TikTok for weeks on her live stream and on her page. The next overwhelming question, the thing I see the most, is, but didn't you abuse Tay? You shouldn't get no cut. The answer to that is no. I did not abuse Tay. And on top of that, I did not throw a crock pot at her. When you're in the state of heightened emotion like that, and she's antagonizing me and provoking me to her highest... Lou, you ain't got to explain why you threw a crock pot at her. I would have threw a crock pot at her, too. Don't, don't tell me how to wash some dishes, little girl. It just seemed like she was doing a lot of stuff to you that provoked you. And, you know, you get you get dumb in rewards when you do dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, here go this crock pot. You better duck, man. Degree, I literally would just say anything, you guys. She would put up the camera and yell off the craziest things. And I would just, yup, yup, ended, ended. I was in a defense mode. I have taken accountability for everything and I will continue to do so. But I did not throw a crock pot. 
<laughs> when we were fighting, she literally could have put up that camera and yelled, I caught you having sex with my mom. I would have said, yep, I did. I did on Wednesday. What are you going to do? Oh, God. Is that nice of me? No. Is it antagonistic of me in that very moment? Yes, but I was already antagonized. I was already provoked. I was already in a defensive state that she put me in and that she created every time. I had no power to create these environments. I couldn't tell her to do anything. I had no control over her. I could not create the issue in the house. I had no control in the house. But to be clear, I never threw a crock pot. <laughs> I've gotten the question also, well, did she abuse you? I look at this person as my abuser. I suffered abuse from this woman for five years, maybe five plus years on most levels. It was not just financial. It was mental and it was physical. I 110% mm. am able to now give her that title because you guys, I was once in love with her. I did not want to accept that she was who she was, even though she showed me for years and years and years. <clears throat> Thank you, Nisha. The physical abuse was, was, was very prominent in our relationship. She would fight me like I was a man on the street. I have permanent scars and ailments to this day because of my fights with her. You guys saw scratches on her face. Of course you would see scratches on someone's face if I'm trying to keep her off of me. She would always be right on top of me, wailing away. I have had to step away from YouTube for weeks. To hit Definitely would've got hit with a crock pot. my body off of my injuries from her. I'm just saying. My lip, I have a permanent busted lip because of it. I have plenty of bite marks on my body, mm. scratches and scars. Mm -mm -mm. And I won't bring the most gruesome details of the physical to the internet because some things I will keep to myself. But they were, un it was, un I was, uh, it was unimaginable. Mm. When the physical abuse stopped, then the mental and psychological torture and abuse began. After we were done being physical, I then had to go through my punishments. I always had a punishment. Um, the phone was off the rip, off the rip. Before a week or so, I would not be eating the same things she would eat. I would not be partaking in the things that she partook in. She would be out the house all day and I would not be able to leave the house because you guys, I've never had a key. To any house we lived in. It's no way in hell. I'm agreeing to those terms and conditions. <laughs> and that's the part that I feel like she should take some accountability for. It's the only thing I disagree with. We moved into our last apartment together. We had the, those funds together. Even though I was not seeing that money, I did. I felt like I paid for that place because we're working. You she did. Put my name on the lease ever. Never put my name on the lease. Well, she couldn't put your name on the lease uh, because of her credit at the time. It never gave me a key. So my punishments will be, she knew I wouldn't leave that house because how am I going to get back in? I used to be in that house for weeks on end, not being able to leave it without a phone and without adequate food. And I'm not exaggerating with that. She's literally opened up the refrigerator at one point and threw everything in the refrigerator out and then came home with Royal Farms, Chick-fil-A, all of this stuff when there's no water, no nothing in the house. How the fuck tub, y'all? I ain't gonna lie. But I would have tri boy. <laughs> I'll tell y'all. Woo! And her acting like she just so, I'm so in fear. <laughs> Respectfully, Lou is a hundred pounds soaking wet. Okay? Take out some meat on her. I don't care the height. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. I was extremely isolated throughout my entire relationship. No one heard from me, you guys. My best friends didn't hear from me. My family did not hear from me. One of my more triggering things, and I said it on my live, waking up and not knowing where I am, the housing instability that I went through my entire duration, my, my entire time with her, is mentally 
I'm, I'm, the housing instability was just completely crazy, y'all. I never had a key to where I lived. I never can guarantee that I would be asleep in my house because her temperament was so gentle that I can say anything, my opinion, then, oh, I pissed her off. We get into an argument. Literally, you guys, I've spent the night outside at least three times. Oh, no. Outside. No. In the elements. Now, I know you guys are thinking, you didn't spend a night outside. You're right. I never went to sleep. I had to wait for the sun to come up, <laughs> knock on the door again to see if she's going to let me in. Man. Fuck time, no. That wasn't a new punishment. That was one of the punishments. Man, so hell no. This, this the type of shit you come out with when it happened. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem now, because she put on this huge-ass facade. Tay, man. I wouldn't have to spend a night outside because I was close enough to contact the father of my child because he was completely aware of this abuse, and he would then let me sleep in his shed, and his wife would let me sleep in the house as well. They also lent me a phone because they knew about this abuse. The father of my child and his wife knew all about the abuse that I went through with Tay, and they tried to sneak me a phone. When they snuck me the phone, because think about it, the father of my child got upset because he's like, yo, your daughter can't reach you. I can't reach you. No one can reach you. And all I can say is she took my phone. Now you in there with my child? Oh, oh, I think the daughter lived with the dad. So huh? what did he do? He took one of my daughter's extra phones and he gave it to me. Do y'all know she made me give it back to him? <laughs> I had that phone for How me. does she make you do something like that? You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> no, ma'am. <clears throat> you chose to do that, uh, Lou. You ain't making me do shit. We're women, uh, both of us. This is not a grown man. We're both women. I can't get with that. Ten hours. She made me. Oh, I, I can't get with and that. I figured that would be a solving of the problem because her whole thing when she take it is, oh, it's my phone. We're arguing. That's my phone. I pay the bills. My phone. <sighs> so I have a phone here that you don't pay the bill on. She made me give it back. And somebody would say, oh, she can't make you do anything. Yes, she could. Because there was punishments for everything. If I didn't do that, I wasn't going home. I couldn't sleep in a bed. And you guys, when you are put out the house so much, all you want is to get into your bed. That's all you want to do. That wasn't your bed. I wouldn't want to get in that bed. Why would I want to get in a bed that don't belong to me? No way. That's all I wanted to do was to sleep. I just wanted to go into the room and close the door. But I literally, her abuse didn't just stop with humans. She abused every animal that we had. And when I say she, you guys, she used to house them into one room, close the door, ban me from going in there. They used to live in their piss and their feces for weeks. How you ban so, me? Our dog was so mentally messed up because she used to crate him for 24 hours. You guys, when we went to Vegas, we had pets. The pets were just in the house, mm. just roaming free, and she would place down random bowls of water and food throughout the house. That bitch is no a devil. Them. We were gone for a while. That bitch is a devil. Who walked them? She never walked the dog. The dog would piss and would go to the bathroom in his space, in his sleeping area. He would stand up for so long because he would not sit down. And you guys, that used to get to me. Like I told y'all, she used to leave the house all the time because she has the car. Nah. I used to be in that house by myself with those animals. That would get However, to anybody. Only in the living room and towards the front door. She could not see when I went into the animal's room because she would get mad if I went in there and tried to touch anything. So I got scared for a while to go in there and help those animals. But every now and then, I would break. You guys, I am not an animal person, but I'm a, a, a basic needs person. They were hungry and they were neglected. And she would punch that dog dead in his face. And that's something I learned about dogs dealing with her. I guess dogs are the most loyal thing ever because she would literally punch that dog dead in his face and he would run to her two seconds later. Yeah. And I used to be flabbergasted. Like, everything I'm saying, I know it sounds so out of worldly for the person that she's presented herself to you guys as. But there's human accounts. There's people who've seen her neglect her dog and did not understand why she was doing what she was doing. They kind of like mulled over it and did what they needed to do for the dog, you guys will hear about it. But it's true, all of it's true. I came on here to make a few things clear, to clear this up for you guys, because after I dropped the first video, I had a lot of the same questions. 
So I wanted to address those with you guys. And I hope my explanations can give you a little bit more insight on your questions. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in my journey up until this point. Thank you for your time. And human accounts <coughs> People will be telling you guys next exactly what they experienced with Tay. So you can get someone opinion other than my own who's dealt with her personally and directly, not on the internet, not just on the internet. I do hope you stay tuned for them and thank you so much. Well, let's bring them on out. <clears throat> I'm ready to see. Um, I guess we uh, shall see, you know, the rest. This is a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, Y'all's drama was so like, anybody with a heart would feel it. Like, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? And it's just not one of the best subjects that I want to talk about. Y'all ain't got nothing on Krishan and Blueface, but it's just as bad. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm going to continue to do my due deals on all this drama. That's what I got myself into. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs>